Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Family Tree Maker 2009. Okay, so we get this installation screen, and there's this tab for extras right here you can have a look at to see either before you do your installation or after to see just what's in there that you may want. There's some tutorial videos, there's some uh, getting started guide, different resources on here, so don't forget to go back and have a look at those after you've done your installation. So I'm going to uh, go back to this install tab and I'm just going to click on this install now button. Now that'll do a little preparatory installation activity. Now you may find on your machine, like I did on mine, that I had to disable my antivirus software in order to get the installation to run. So if you have any trouble, if the installation stops uh, for a long period of time while it's installing files, you may want to go turn off your antivirus software. Um, as I say, I, I'm running McAfee and I found that I had to turn it off in order for the installation to work. Okay, so here we are with the installer running. I'm just going to click the next button on this first screen that comes up. And then there's a license agreement. You can print that if you wanted to for some reason. You can reject it, in which case you should try to return your software because it's not going to install for you. Or, uh, as in my case, I'm just going to click the Yes button here to accept the license agreement. Now, you, get, you have the option to change the location and the name of the folder that you that um, the installation wizard creates Family Tree Maker under. By default, it creates a folder named Family Tree Maker 2009 within the Program Files folder. If you wanted to change either of those, you can click Browse and then change it there. I'm going to accept the default and I'm going to click Next. Okay, and there we go. It's installed here. Now we've got this option right here that will launch Family Tree Maker 2009 when we click the Finish button. I don't want to do that because I'm going to record another screencast about that initial startup, so I don't want to do that here. But um, you may want to leave that checked and go ahead and start up Family Tree Maker and check out the next screencast in this Family Tree Maker 2009 series. So I'm going to click the Finish button here, and now's a good time to take a look at that Extras tab, or, or um, just close this out if you're finished with that. And I'm going to do one little cleanup thing here. Obviously, this is, this is totally up to you. Um, as you can tell from my desktop, I don't like having things on there. And um, Family Tree Maker um, did one of the things that I don't appreciate in software. They um, installed a shortcut on my desktop without asking my permission first, so I'm just going to drag that up to my trash can and uh, get rid of that shortcut. Clean up my desk here. So there we go. We've got Family Tree Maker installed. If we have a look at the Start button here and go into All Programs, we'll see down here that it's installed this Family Tree Maker 2009 folder, and within there is the application. I'm just going to drag this up so that it is where I want it to be. And there we go. Now we've got it installed.